Hey there everybody, it's Linnea, and today I just have a quick video for you showing off the five new colors of deco foil transfer sheets. So these are the fairy tale color collections, and there are five new colors: Enchanted Rose, Peach Princess, Lily Pad, Glass Slipper, and Prince Periwinkle. And I just love the names. I think they're so fun. And there are the five colors. It's a pink, an orange, a green, a blue, and a purple. And they do have that rainbow holographic shine to them. And I kind of turned off my lights just for a minute there so you could see more clearly that they do have individual colors as well as that holographic shine. So I wanted to create three quick backgrounds to have something to put my foil over. So I'm going to be doing just some watercoloring, really easy watercoloring. The watercolor is going to get, it's gonna be in the background. My foil is going to be the focus. So I'm just going ahead and adding some colors. And in retrospect, I probably should have done five backgrounds for all five colors of foil. But originally I was only gonna make one card and then I ended up making three and I should have just done all five. I don't know what I was thinking. But all I do is just basically grab some watercolor and drop it into a pool of water. And then I go in with a brush and just kind of move it around. And then I'll grab my heat gun and that will help smooth out all those edges and really get those color blending. Um, like I said, I did three backgrounds. And you're going to see them in just a second here. I did one background that was a mix of purples and blues and then that pink, orange, yellow color. And then the green and yellow colors. So I wanted to add some foil over the top. And to do that, I'm going to be using the Deco Foil Transfer Gel Duo. Now, I couldn't decide on just one stencil. I was going to create one background with one stencil. And then I didn't narrow down my stencil, so I just did three backgrounds. So I'm going to do three stencils. So I have the Kindred Stamps Doily Stencil, Kindred Stamps Confetti Stencil, as well as the Honeybee Stamps Twinkle Twinkle Stencil. So all I'm doing is laying them face down in a box, and this is just a box that some crafty goodies came in. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. And then I'm spraying the back with Pixie Spray, just an even coating. I did work on watercolor cardstock, and because I used my embossing gun to dry them, the paper is quite warped. So the Pixie Spray, although it is holding on tight, I'm using purple tape just as a reinforcement to make sure that my stencil won't shift. So usually the Pixie Spray is good on its own, but because the watercolor paper has tooth and then it's also warped, I decided to go ahead and just give myself some double security. So I'm using the Deco Foil Transfer Gel Duo on these backgrounds, and I'm just using a stencil pal to scrape this over the top. Now I am not making sure to get every nook and cranny of these stencils because I want my foil to be concentrated where the watercolor backgrounds are. So I'm gonna kind of have it fading off towards all four of the edges. So I scooped out just a little bit of that transfer gel and you're gonna see I'm gonna be able to do all three backgrounds with just that little bit of gel. And then I'm gonna have even a little extra to put back into my jar. All I'm doing is just making sure I use that stencil pal to get a smooth application, but like I said, I'm not concerned with it going all the way to the edge. So you can see here that it's kind of white, and as it dries, it'll turn completely clear. You can't even see it really right now. I'm gonna hold one up to the light, and I think you can kind of see the shine a little bit, but that's how you know when the Duo Gel is dry. It'll be absolutely completely clear, don't worry, it will still be a little tacky because you're going to be able to use the Duo Gel with a die cutting machine. So I was going to have different colored foils, like maybe the pink on the green background, but I decided to do tone on tone. So this is the Lily Pad foil and it's gonna go on the green background. When you're applying foil to any kind of adhesive, even this Duo Gel, you wanna make sure to add the foil pretty side up. So the adhesive is going to actually make contact with the silver side of the foil. Now I'm gonna be able to add this right through my die cutting machine. I did use a piece of folded computer paper just to add a layer of protection. And then when I added this into my plates, you can see my cutting plate is all scratched and my plastic shim for my Gemini is not, it's smooth. So I'm going to be careful to add the foil pretty side down 
so it doesn't get all scratched up. So I have a double layer of protection there with the computer paper and then also putting the foil down onto the smooth part of my die cutting machine. I'm going to just peel back these foils. I used the Prince Periwinkle on this purple background. Like I said, the lily pad on the green and then the Peach Princess on my peachy background. And I love how all three of these turned out. I think it's just so fun to have that tone on tone background. Now, of course, don't throw these extra sheets away. I keep them in a little bin so that I can use them on a later project. I colored up some images. I used three different Kindred stamps, stamp sets. I used Arabian Nights, uh, Once Upon a Nap, and Rags to Riches for my cards. And all I did was just color some little uh, fairy tale images. I thought they would go great with this fairy tale collection of deco foil transfer sheets. And I added them to my cards using some iCraft 3D foam adhesive squares. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this look at the new fairy tale collection of Deco foil transfer sheets. See you soon. Bye.